there we go. Biggest one of the day. What up YouTube? We've got a huge unboxing for you guys today. Tackle unboxing. I'm out here with my buddy Christian. It's, I have not one, but two GoPros for us. All the combos. And you see a bunch of tackle. I want to showcase a bunch of this stuff for you guys. It's getting colder for a lot of us across the states, and I'm going to talk about a lot of the stuff that's good for the winter months, the fall transition, and see if we can't catch some fish out of this pond right here as soon as we're done unboxing everything for you guys. Scope this place out. Look at this, dude. We've already seen bass chasing bait fish up here in the shallows. It's, uh, this could be a juicy little spot. We've never fished this pond before. Let's go ahead and get into this unboxing because there's so much stuff to unwrap, and then we're going to fish with these lures today and try and catch some big old bass for you guys. See what we got in these bags, baby. First of all, we got mystery tackle box. Can't show you guys what's in this because we're actually going to do an exclusive mystery tackle box slam coming up very soon, so that's going to get set to the side. Okay, so here's some stuff I just picked up from the Guggen Warehouse in box number two. Box number one is kind of some mystery tackle box stuff that we got to do separate videos over, but um, and, and another mystery tackle box. We got a lot of we got we love mystery tackle box over here. You guys can actually try your first one for as low as $4.99 with the link in the description. And uh, I'm probably going to do a mystery tackle box giveaway on my Instagram sometime soon. Weston Smith, find me over there if you're not following, and uh, be looking out for a mystery tackle box giveaway. What do we got here? Blue baby Kraken craws. These will smoke some bass here today, no doubt. I always throw these things Texas rigged. I'll throw them on the back of my jigs. Uh, this is gonna be perfect for fall and winter, slow moving stuff. Don't be throwing those fast moving baits that the bass aren't gonna be chasing after when it's freezing cold temps. These things right here will slay. Some more Kraken craws, black and blue for the more stained water. This one here is a little bit clearer. I probably wouldn't throw these in this colored water today, but the color is just gonna vary. Sometimes they hit the black and blue in completely crystal clear water. It's just, you gotta try new things. My opinion. I think you just gotta see what you got in your tackle box and throw the whole arsenal till you start getting those bites. Speaking of, next in the bag, trench hogs. If you want to up the ante, try and go for those big bass. You'll catch some little ones too, no doubt, but the trench hog could secure you those big bass that are wanting a big substantial meal. Pop the same slowly Texas rigged right in front of them in these cool temperatures. Could link up with a hog, hence the name trench hog. Next, We've got a glow-in-the-dark jerk bait. Jerk baits are some of the best baits to throw when the temperatures get colder. Think this fall transition into winter time. Go ahead and pop these things a few times with some slack line. Slack line is kind of key. If you keep your line tight and you pop these jerk baits, it's not going to have as erratic of a movement that's going to incite those strikes. It's actually just going to come straight towards you as opposed as opposed to kind of darting around. If you've got a little bit of slack in your line when you give it that pop, so these jerk baits absolutely clutch in the colder temperatures. Next. A chatterbait. I've never thrown this one. This is the bladed foot. This is the CFL chatterbait by Z-Man. It's just kind of got more of a ball-shaped head. It's a little bit different. I believe it's heavier. Might go a little bit lower, faster in the water column. So I'm curious to see how this puppy works. I might tie on something like even a crack and craw bandito bug as a trailer on this, or just get your favorite swim bait trailer and try and match that color up to the uh, jig color itself. That skirt, like a black and blue probably catch some mondos we've got uh this has actually been open but i don't think i've showcased it because the temperatures have been getting pretty cold so i haven't been throwing around the guggen squad frog a whole lot but this guy right here when it's top water season you better believe we're gonna catch some giants Z-Man Chatterbait. One thing about Chatterbaits, it's such an easy bait to get into and throw. I think when you're when you're just starting out, it's only got one hook. You're not messing around with treble hooks and having to worry about pliers and all these different things. And they're very easy to fish. It's a good moving bait to start covering water in a pond like this right here. Uh, we'll probably be throwing these today. Um, they don't sink very fast, so you don't always get caught up on the wood, the grass, this, that, and the other. Uh, but it's a fantastic bait to cover water and catch some giants. This actually got Devin her almost seven pound PB in a previous video. What do we got next? Trash Master Jigs. For this pond, the Trash Master Jig is, um, this is really meant for heavier cover. It's got this swivel to really get your bait and crank it on there so that if you're fishing some heavy cover, you're not gonna be losing your trailers left and right. The head shape is really meant to get you kind of deep down into that thicker stuff, so we might not use these today, but we do have a couple jigs we'll probably be throwing. Now we've got some boxes. I already have unboxed this Mondo kit. Um, I, shame on me, man. I love to do the unboxings first so I can talk about these lures, but we did the whole slam. It's up on the channel. I'll put it in the description. You have to check out the Mondo kits. They're exclusively at Academy stores and online at this very second. But coming up here in the next week, you're going to be able to get these for even cheaper on Carl's Bait and Tackle. I've, of course, you know Carl's Bait and Tackle stays in my description. I save 30% on all my tackle and buy everything through Carl's, man. It's just a bargain. So we only got three boxes and then we're getting to the water. So bear with me. 
we have the brand new Guggen Squad Buzz Bait, the Hummer. This thing looks legit. I, I used to just throw, uh, Buzz Baits were probably one of my first confidence baits. I literally would go to a pond with one rod and reel and fish a Buzz Bait like all day. And if I didn't get any hits, I didn't get any hits. And if I got some bass, it was always a fun time with those top water explosions. With the Buzz Bait, the major key for me is always casting out along the bank in the early mornings and towards the sunset. And then as soon as that lure hits the water, raise that rod tip up and start cranking because they like to sink a little bit. So you got to keep them on top of the water you want to keep it uh, moving as slow as possible without sinking down so that's my that's my tip on the buzz bait the juicy casting jig we've been catching some big fish on this lately this is brand new by Guggen Squad and Catch Co these are the jigs we're going to be throwing today this one's black and blue I might say screw it and just toss it in the water anyways I think I even have some natural colors though I actually have the thick flipping jig and 3 8 ounce so this isn't necessarily the flipping as opposed to the casting type of pond here but I might even throw this just because the color looks a little bit better for today's clarity we'll see what happens Next, we've got a clutch, lipless crankbait. These things are legit, especially for small ponds like this because sometimes you're using those deeper diving crankbaits and you're just getting caught up by the bank every time you bring these things in. You're getting caught on trees, rocks, uh, this, that, and the other, and it makes for not as fun of a fishing experience. That's why I like the lipless. You can really keep it wherever you want in the water column. You can reel it in faster and keep it closer to the surface, let it drop and reel it in a little bit slower if maybe the fish are down lower. Excellent search bait to find these fish. Let's see what else we've got in the box. Hammer hooks, brand new Guggen Squat hooks. I'm pumped about these guys. I got the four aughts. I'm ready to throw some Texas rigs right now. Let's go. I might even throw some flukes on these puppies. You guys know the deal if you've watched my videos. I uh, gotta stock up on hooks, man. So we got those new hammer hooks. Another 3 8 ounce black and blue juicy jig and the creme de resistance, the jackal gantrell. This is the full size one right here, you guys. You've seen these swim baits in my videos. I normally am throwing the smaller junior. It's 1.5 ounces. This is the big boy. This is 2.5 ounces guaranteed to uh, snap most of the rods I've got on hand because they're not rated for something this size but screw it let's do it man you got to risk it if you want the biscuit i'm trying to catch some bass so we're out here god damn there's a lot more tackling here you guys i think there's some good new stuff in there that i don't want to showcase just yet we're going to save that for last um we're just going to run through this quickly now what we have alabama craw trench hogs get ready for devastation and destruction lunker logs and cinnamon john b recommends this color man i never threw it i did not like this color i was just so caught up in natural colors until the other day when i caught a five and a half pounder on these things rest is history man it was the only thing they would bite on that day it was kayak fishing we had a ton of fun natural slim shakes these are perfect whenever you're, you're fishing maybe some deeper waters you get that shaky head out um what the fuck is it a trick worm are slim shakes considered trick worms you guys gotta let me know man i'm so clueless i've only been fishing for like not that much time so anyways we've got some slim shakes i've been throwing them texas rigged but if you have the shaky heads that's what they're designed for and uh that's that baby don't ask questions man all right we got the flat banger this thing secured some major catches in the mondo kit slam with john b i don't know where the mondo kit went but the bass were all over this thing it's a little bit of a deep diver for something like this this is three to six feet diving depth so we probably won't use it today but the color that shad color always gets the bass going i don't care about the clarity it's just going to get those bites Ooh, this is going to be good for the winter time here we go we got some sakoshi bugs for your ned rigs just go ahead and throw these out on like a one tenth ounce mushroom head jig if you don't see me throwing a rat Ned, you're going to see a Sakoshi bug on my Ned rig setups most likely this fall and winter time. We've got some more Blue Baby Craws. I think this is all trout stuff. Another clutch. Oh, snap. Nico weights. I've never really thrown a Nico rig. You throw these, Christian? No? Really? All right, so we're both clueless, so y'all going to have to help us and tell us how to rig these things up. I'm pretty sure you put the hook like... Par Anyways, it's for Nico rigs. We're going to, we're going to use these. Last box, boy, we're ready to fish. The fish are like, I see the fish just swimming all around, dude. We're ready to catch some bass. Let's go. We have dragon drops. These things secured some bass in my latest video that I'm actually going to upload today. They wouldn't hit anything else except for the dragon drop on this given day. I keep saying that about certain baits. They wouldn't hit anything but that. And that's the thing. People are always telling me like, what, Western, what's the best bait for this time? What's the best bait for that weather? Um, I really just throw the whole tackle box every time I go out until I find what they want because every day is different. The conditions are different. The bass are doing something different. They want something different to eat. I mean, think about you. You're not going to eat Chipotle seven days a week. Sometimes you want the Chick-fil-A. Sometimes you want the Canes, baby. So you you always got to have Guggen baits stocked, but there might not be any one that they're going to go for. Dragon drops are going to get it done on the drop shot rig though. I rig these up with a one knot drop shot hook because that makes sense. And then I use a drop shot weight. I tie a Palomar knot to get it done. Ooh, check this out. We got the Guggen squad. We got the Guggen squad 
scout. That might be the jerk bait we throw today. It says diving depth of four to six feet, but I'm thinking if we work it slow, we can keep this a little bit higher and uh, possibly get some bites. I'm curious about this jerk bait right here. I've never thrown it before, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Here we go. Here's the juicy, uh, here's the juicy jig and three eighths ounce green pumpkin. This is gonna slay right now. I'm about to put this thing on. I'm about to tie it up, baby. And last but not least, you guys, this covers everything. This is the new Zinger spinnerbait by Guggen Squad. You've already seen it in one of my videos, the Mondo Kit Slam, except it was not this color. I was throwing the Shad and Chartreuse color. This is the bluegill pattern, which I think should slay today, hashtag spiderweb, because we've been seeing them chase bait fish. This imitates a school of fish for these bass to come and chomp on. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably toss a saucy swimmer on the back of this puppy. It's gonna be a larger presentation. Maybe we link up with that three or four pounder that's probably lurking in this small neighborhood pond. Christian, can you rate a fish, brother? Okay, we're pumped to actually get things started. I haven't talked too much about the Yakima topwater rack, but if you guys are curious in a rod holder for the top of your vehicle, it actually holds six. I think I've even crammed eight eight fully rigged combos in this bad boy boy you strap them down i've even got the key right here bam locks all your gear secure but you can take it on those uh fishing adventures man maybe you got a passenger in the car and you can't just toss the rods inside and everyone be comfortable so i'm liking that yakima top water got a bunch of rigs we gotta start tying stuff on man it's time to fish it's time to fish it's time to fish okay so the one thing that i didn't have in the unboxing <laughs> i must have just left them at home <laughs> Bro, is the new saw? So oh my gosh! One just chased him up to the bank. No way! <laughs> Christian just got uh, hit on the bank first cast with the clutch. He's throwing the lipless. I'm gonna throw the saucy swimmer with this flash bang. What I was saying is this is literally like the one thing I must have left at the house on accident because I was using them recently, or maybe they're in my other backpack. But I've got these 4.8, I believe, inch saucy swimmers. I, I think this is the larger of the two sizes they offer. I'm, I'm swimming this in a little too fast, you guys. I just realized that it's staying close to the surface. I need, I need to take a chill pill. Just want to catch them bass. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over there and switch it up after this. So. Yeah, I'm wondering if just like a Sanko or something. Okay, I walked it with the jig and either I was moving it too fast. I don't know, I, I tried to pop it slow a couple times. Maybe it's the color that they're not as interested in, but I'm about to test that theory as well. I'm gonna throw something a little bit more finesse. I'm going with the drop shot for a second. Let's see what happens. Try something a little bit different now. Let's see what happens then. First cast on the dragon drop. Yep, he's swimming with it. Got him. Dragon drop, first cast. Nice. Suspended a little bit, man. Small baits, Ned rig. There we go, dragon drop, got him. I knew he was chasing it a little bit. He uh, he had it and then he, he went after it but didn't grab it for sure because it was not on the hook. But then I saw that line start swimming to the left. I knew I knew we had it. That's the first bass of the day. Heck yes. There you have it, guys. Sometimes you just gotta finesse it down. The drag and drop is what got him. Let me show you the exact setup. One aught Sticky's worm hook with the watermelon red flake drag and drop. And then a, this is a quarter ounce woo tungsten weight. I'm throwing it on a casting setup with 17 pound fluoro. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to cast this light, uh, this finesse rig. But that's why I'm using that quarter ounce weight to help get a little bit of distance out there off that bait caster. Secured the first catch of the day. Yes. I got a feeling this dragon drop's about to just take over, bro. Oh, bite. Has he got it? Swimming towards me? Yep, he's on. I think that was third cast with the dragon drop. Sweet, this guy's an upgrade. He's about a pound and a half. He's darting. Nice. Let's get him. Pound and a quarter, pound and a half, maybe. <laughs> Dang, rookie mistake. Check him out, baby. Second fish of the day. Yee-hoo. All right, guys, I think we found it, man. They're on the drag and drop today. Let's go. This one's maybe a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. I've got the scale, but we're not going to weigh it. We're going for that two or three pounder. we got to catch a big old neighborhood giant out of this pond, man. Let's go. So these retrieves are very slow, you guys. I'm just taking my time with it. I'm really letting the bass come to me as opposed to me trying to get in front of them. Sometimes you'll just spook them if they're being real finicky. So like I say, I'm just uh, working this very slowly, just trying to keep the line tight to where the worm doesn't sit on the bottom because the whole point of the drop shot is to have that worm suspended, you know, just those few inches to like a foot off the ground, even maybe a couple feet in certain um, instances or circumstances. So 
where I got that bite, if I'm not mistaken, I already forget, is probably in the shade. The bass are ambush predators, man. They're waiting to get these bait fish out here in the dark. I believe that was the third cast with it because I made one more cast out that way, maybe two. And I hit this uh, area over here once again in the shade, this tree line, or not tree line, but in the shade of the tree. And that's where I got the hit, so. Well, I'm using a watermelon red flake. It stands out pretty good. Ooh, I got the blue penny. Oh, that's off the chain. What? Right? Yes. Oh, dang, spooking them right here, bro. I'll check this out, guys. I got the Guggen Squad rattling Ned tied on. Blue penny. And I love this color because the top part, it's got the copper flake. And the bottom is just blue, which is very different from anything I've ever thrown. So I'm switching to this Ned rig because I've tried moving baits, tried bottom baits. So I think I'm going to switch to a little bit more finesse. Lesson's over here killing them on the drop shot. So that just confirms that I need to switch to a little more finesse. Let's toss this out there and see what we get. Hey. What was that? Uh, yeah, two so far and I think I'm getting bites now. Yep, got him. That's number three. Sweet. <laughs> right as Devin calls and asks, are you catching any fish? <laughs> this one is, he's a young buck. That's all right. Ooh, raking him up on the drag and drop. Catch it, we're, we're having fun. <laughs> What are you up to? You there? Got him right in the top of the mouth, guys. That's number three. I'm gonna just toss him right on back because I'm trying to get a bigger one. Honestly, you should just start with one GoPro. You can do everything with one GoPro. Like, I think that's the smartest approach. Just start making a couple things. There's gotta be fish around that fountain. Like that's the only piece of structure out here. Except for in the corner, there's a little something, but it's very shallow. I'm telling you. We're gonna hop across the street over here. There's uh, another public pond, it looks like. I thought it was private, because there's a gate, but there's like a drive that goes right in. Don't mind us. I think we will. All right, we fished here for a solid hour. We've only got the three bites on the drop shot. They were all a little bit smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and venture into another pond in the neighborhood. There's two other bodies of water. One's a larger one and we've actually caught some decent fish out of it. So we're gonna see you guys at the next spot. Okay guys, I think it's time. Let me go ahead and let's tie this two and a half ounce Jackal Gantrell on here and see if we can't catch a toad. I would be so psyched to get a bite on this. It's tough putting that drop shot down, but I wanna showcase more baits from this unboxing. And this thing right here is like, the bait. This is a big old treat. Look at these hooks. Oh my gosh, it's gonna have to be a monster. All right guys, we're gonna have to do a big old loop on this Palomar knot. That should cover it. All right. Yeah, let's do it, dude. This thing is just gonna be in their face. Oh my God. Oh, it's swimming weird. I, I got a treble hook. I feel like that thing was not swimming good. Right off the bat, I feel like this one doesn't swim as good as the smaller one. I don't know what it is, but it's not, the wobble's not as good. All right, well, nothing on the Jackal Gantrail swim bait. I actually gave that a decent amount of time and covered a lot of banks, so. Till next time on that big old puppy right there. I might just continue throwing the drop shot. I don't know, man, I don't know. Got options over here. Try the hog for a cast or two. Gang, the trench hog ain't working. I'm telling you, they are playing hardball today on the tackle unboxing. I wanted to showcase so much of this stuff for you guys, but at least I've shown the baits and lures to you that way I can throw a bunch of the stuff in future videos. I just don't, I don't think they're gonna hit anything on the move today. So I'm gonna pick that drag and drop up and see if I can't link up with a big one. We've definitely caught and seen big ones in this pond before, so. Got him. There we go. First one at this pond. Biggest one of the day. Drop shot. <laughs> Look at this thing. Fat. That's a football. Things are getting plump, but he's ice cold. So they're just slow, and the drag and drop is what's getting them, boys. Heck yes. Fish number four for the day. Nice. All right, a couple shots for the gram. Let's get him back in the water. He wasn't even too far off the bank, I don't think. I might change up my tactic. I'm casting out far, but might bring it closer. Yep. Hey. 
No way. All right, guys, real quick before Christian reels in that big catch, here's what we got going on over at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Literally the biggest sale of the year, Black Friday, and it's exclusive to Carl's only members until the 21st. Then it's open to everybody from the 22nd on through Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You can get 20% off of your Mystery Tackle Box subscriptions, whether you go with the Basic, Pro, or Elite boxes. They have Fate Black casting combos for $100. I remember for the longest time when I started the channel, I was only using the Fate Black rods, and those were $100 by themselves. Now you can get it with the actual reel as well for $100 this holiday season. I'm gonna include the link to all this down below. Don't even forget the Mondo kits. Guggen Squad Mondo kits are $17 during the sale. So go ahead and get you your first one. You can sign up for a free trial of Carl's Club membership right now and get in on these savings. So go ahead and check that out and get your first box and start catching some fish. So go ahead and check that out down in the description below, you guys. Start your free trial calls membership and become a member like myself. That's how I get all my tackle 30% off every single bait I order from them on a month-to-month -month basis. It saves me so much from going to the stores and stocking up. Now let's get back to the vlog and watch Christian catch this monster. Got him. Go. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Square Bill, you did me dirty. Oh, man. We have been fishing for a while. We started out over there on the other side, made my way across this whole bank. I'm the only one out of the both of us that's throwing a moving bait. He's throwing the drop shot. He already got one. At the last pond, he got like four or five on the drop shot. So the bite is obviously screaming at us, finesse, slow moving, you know, but I guess I'm stubborn. I got a jerk bait tied on and a crank bait. And I finally got one and it comes off right here. Oh no. At least I know they'll bite it. So I'm gonna keep throwing it. Yeah, so they seem to be up shallow a little bit, kind of closer to the bank almost. Christian just missed his first one on uh, some sort of crankbait. I don't know if it's a square bill or lipless he's throwing at this moment, but he's been staying true to the moving bait. And he finally had like a two and a half, he said. And it bucked right off the hooks right there at the bank. Bummer. Here's some little bait fish. This could be a decent zone right here. Anytime you see bait that these bigger fish are eating, you assume that might be a little feeding ground. So maybe stick it out in that spot a little bit. I'm just also trying to walk the bank and just cover as much as possible. You'll probably see a lot more of the drop shot rig being thrown on the channel through uh, the winter months for sure. But they're starting on it early. It was like uh, down in the 20s overnight a couple of nights last week or at least one of the nights last week so I don't know these things are just frozen over man these bass are they're cold I don't think they're as willing to go for the fast moving stuff you got to just slow it down finesse it down get right in front of their face be an easy meal I have absolutely circled this place with the dragon drop only the one bass dang bro circled the whole thing with the dragon drop and only the one fish but here's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna tie on the juicy jig with the black and blue crack and crawl we're still out here to catch fish I haven't thrown anything black and blue yet today maybe this color will get their attention otherwise uh, let me know what you guys want to see me throw in the next couple videos out of everything I unboxed I, I didn't throw a lot of the moving baits today, obviously. I'm thinking today, if I didn't choose this next, which I really want to throw, I'd probably go with that cinnamon colored lunker log, but you guys have just seen that in a video. This is something entirely new. I'm gonna rig this thing up, take off the natural colored jig I was throwing earlier, and like I say, see if this different color might get their attention. Otherwise, we might call it, but I'm gonna try and catch a hog, man. There's big fish in here. It's just one of those days, man. All right, let's get this thing tied on. It's an emergency, man. The fish ain't biting. Christian's got to go, y'all. So he's handing me the second GoPro, and then I'm gonna try and get a couple more catches. But uh, how'd it go? You had one, huh? <laughs> Barely. It came off at the bank. No juice. No juice, he says. I'm gonna put his Instagram down in the description. You guys check him out. Let's try and get snag a couple more bass on this jig before I do the same. Juicy jigs tied on. Palomar knot, as always. What I have found on these, at least the three eighths size, which I think is probably gonna be a pretty good standard size for you guys to throw in ponds like this. Um, is the best thing to do with your crack and crawl is to take one section off. I think that makes the crack and crawl the perfect length. I'm going to set that down for just a second. And so you feed your crack and crawl on here. I exit the body right about here. It may or may not focus. I don't quite go all the way up. Right about where the pincher start is where I'll exit. And then it ends up feeding onto the uh, ends up feeding onto those keepers very nicely and it's not going to come off and it's perfectly straight. So this thing's good to go. And what you'll notice what you'll notice is the skirt ends right about where the pinchers start, so they're still gonna be free flowing. If you were to take two sections of the crack and crawl off, 
it would be a lot shorter and that could be fine for when it is cold like this but you'd want to trim the skirt up a little bit that way the skirt doesn't interfere with the action of the pinchers so that's what we're doing today oh there we go oh fudge just had one swimming it literally i was swimming it in like a chatterbait almost had one and he was running with it set the hook and I missed him. I was popping it out deep, then I decided to swim it in. Probably would have been the biggest one of the day too. Okay, bummer man, I can't believe I missed that one. It kind of leads me to believe that that black and blue chatterbait could have probably done really good today if I would have just put a crack and craw trailer on it and got that blade. Um, that could have been pretty sweet casting it along the banks. That might have been the ticket today, but we aren't gonna know. All right, guys, that is going to conclude today's episode sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. We want to thank them so much. Don't forget to check them out. Save 30% on all your baits by becoming a Carl's Club member like us and have some fun catching some bass. I know we didn't catch them on too many of the lures today. Down here in Texas, the weather has kind of messed things up just a little bit this week. We're going to be back on them soon, casting everything out of this box right here. I think the black and blue chatterbait might have been the ticket today after getting that hit on the jig when I was swimming it in from popping it. But uh, we won't know today, unfortunately. I'll throw that black and blue chatterbait on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next one, you guys, peace out. <gasps>